What's going on everyone? So I am out here at the dealer show in Elkhart, Indiana, taking a look at some really unique types of travel trailers. And some of these brands you may have seen before, but you probably wanted to learn more about them. So I am out here with the TaxaOutdoors.com Mantis. And I really want to learn more about these units because I've seen these. One thing I know about them is that they are based in Houston, Texas. So that's going to be pretty cool to see what type of product they're producing out of my home state. So I am here with Garrett. He is the founder, would you I say? I am the founder, yes. Of this product. And I really don't want to mess it up by saying the wrong name or the wrong identifier with your product. So I'll give you an opportunity to kind of explain what the Taxa Outdoors product is all about. And did I get the name right? You did. Taxa Perfect. Outdoors. And I know you guys are also based in Houston, Texas. That's right. So you're only about four hours away from me and I've never been able to get up there to see your product. So we're in front of it now. It is definitely unique. It's compact two things that are really, really great, especially when I'm trying to get more information about these things. My viewers love these unique compact trailers. So here's your chance to tell us all about it. Well, my trailers make a little bit more sense if you know something about me. I'm an architect, but then I moved to Houston to work at NASA at the, uh, as a space architect. So I worked wow. on designs for the space station and consulted on lunar habitats. So I've come at this from left field relative to the RV industry, and I never thought I'd be inventing an RV. I always thought, what kind of adventure equipment should exist that you can sleep in? So uh, we call ourselves Mobile Human Habitats. And I always say, you know, we, it's like, what's your adventure? We want to support it. And that means uh, we're really outdoorsy and we excel at being off the grid and boondocking. But some of my customers drive two miles down a dirt road and some drive 200 miles. Um, and so we're great at solar power and we're really efficient and uh lightweight and we try to design the tow vehicle out of your purchase um, so you're making a smaller lifestyle decision in some yeah. ways and that's one thing that I noticed is with this compact design you can kind of tell the emphasis is on towability right and that's one of those areas that I think you've really nailed it all of your products have this really spacey appeal to them I guess that's the best word I want to use for it so from a construction perspective do you want to kind of go over how your product is constructed and how that may differ from what the industry is used to sure um, again I've, I've been more I'm the designer too I didn't say that um, been more inspired by boats and bicycles than by uh, the house on wheels mentality of the rest of the industry so uh, we have what we call skeletons this laser cuts lightweight structure and the skin are these aluminum composite panels that provide insulation and let me make these forms but also make all these really useful moments in the trailer. There's a lot of these holes around, um, we're not quite styled, but this is where you put a carabiner and a broom or your keys or whatever it is you don't want to lose. Um, so all over the trailer, on the ceiling, on the walls, on the floor, we've tried like a space station to be more useful than the other guys. And it, the whole you know, rather than make a closet where you're going to hang up a sports jacket, we're like, here's a floor to throw your wet raincoat and dirty boots on, and here your big wet dog goes here. Great, right, great. Right. And uh, so we're we're trying to stay narrow like a car and short to store in a garage to take the storage fee out of your lifestyle decision, um, and support people who go off for six months at a time or just a weekend, and they they bomb out of their house on Friday night and head to the the beach. I head to Galveston. That's how mm -hmm. this thing started designing for me and my two, my then two small kids uh, and wife, how do we get home from work on Friday and then get outside for fun? Do you want to follow me inside? I can show you some of these things. I can't wait. So I'm six feet tall. We designed for a six foot four person to stand up where you're going to be standing up. Um, I'm trying, now I'm six four. Uh, <laughs> and, but then it gets smaller where you're not going to stand up. So back here, you have the bee berth, and up on the, I talked about a useful ceiling inspired by my space station experience. This is where kids can sleep, but it's oh, also no. a gear attic. So even if you don't have kids, you can throw stuff up here and clean up your room really fast. Uh, on the other side, I have styled a bungee net up here. You know, again, here are all these little holes for, for hooks and carabiners and such to, uh, to get stuff out of your way, but also we don't care whether you're cleaning up your room or strapping a fly rod or whatever your outdoor gig is, we want to support it. Um, 
So I keep saying we're sort of not an RV, but we have lots of overlap with that, of course. Mm -hmm. A comfortable place to sleep at night, get out of the weather, a cooktop and a sink, a 12 volt fridge is on the floor here, but this fridge is also a stool and it's also your bedside table. And we don't care if you don't even want to buy this. You know, a, a cooler can go here just as easily. And then to support that, almost all our customers would prefer to cook outside if they can. So mm -hmm. if the weather's supportive, um, so we don't make drawers, we make bin space for your Tupperware so you can move your kitchen outside and in a blink. Uh, there's a furnace and hot water. There's a porta potty parking space. Um, and it's really easy to set up and down. Can you would you mind sitting down for just a second? Absolutely. But I can show you. So we think of our trailers as having three sites. One is when you're not using it in your garage, we hope. Um, when you're driving, once it fits in a garage, we want it to be usable. So you can stop for a picnic lunch or a nap if you're on an eight hour drive. But then it's easy as hell to, to raise this back up. So uh, you can be hard sided. If you're in a, a bare spot, um, you can have fantastic cross ventilation if you're in a hot spot. So we have uh, five windows in the tent side and another four windows down below. So our idea of performance is really supporting an outdoor door lifestyle. We're not selling you a big flat screen TV because you have a smartphone and you probably watch Netflix on that already. This is for the guy or for the family that lives on South Padre Island, goes down to the National <coughs> Seashore has a maybe a ram power wagon or perhaps a jeep you know wrangler something well, that they can pull i own this a four-cylinder subaru outback that's well, there what you the, go the cricket can be towed by that the tiger moss mm -hmm. even smaller we're thinking rav fours and honda crvs and our mantis is our bigger product and that's sort of mid-size suv and minivan on up okay let's talk about the weights so what is the dry weight on this and what would your gvwr be um, the dry weight on this is about 1,700 pounds. Okay. Um, GVWR is 3,500. Okay. So, so that's, we think, four bikes yeah. and eight duffel bags and some food. Mm -hmm. That's how we kind of plot it out. Um, and we have a range of products. We make four products that go from the Tiger Moth, the Cricket, and the Mantis are RVs, meaning you can get inside them. Um, and they range in price from about 17k to almost 40k, mm -hmm. and in weight from about 1,300 pounds to about 3,000 pounds. Well, Garrett, you definitely have a cool and a very unique product. This is something I'd I'd like to maybe I'd like to maybe at some point visit your factory up in Houston and see how all this gets put together. We would that would be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Make a date. Avoid the floods, though. Oh yeah, I'll tell you <laughs> that. I was just in Houston and I avoided the floods barely. Anyways. Garrett, I really do appreciate your time. It's an absolute honor. This thing looks amazing. These are really cool, and this is definitely something that I could see, even getting personally, when I don't want to use the fifth wheel. When I don't want to yeah. take the big fifth wheel out, we're going to go on a camping trip, we're going to go hunting, we're going to go out to the ranch, and we simply want a comfortable place to stay that's protected from the, the coyotes or whatever else you might run into out there, yeah. while at the same time giving you all that spacious environment and many RV amenities that you might be looking for. That's, that's the idea. Absolutely. Well, Garrett, right. again, I definitely appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button and the bell, and I'll talk to you again very soon.